We're Andrew and Ashley, living in the Arizona high desert, building our off-grid homestead from scratch, powering our cabin with solar, hauling water, and taking on every project that comes our way. Follow along as we share our wins, struggles, and adventures as we carve out life off the beaten path. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another video off the beaten path. So this week we are going to be working on uh, our solar setup and our power. So we actually have my parents in town. Uh, they got in last night and me and my dad have already kind of gotten started. And um, yeah, so we're, we're trying to work on the AC power out. So let's go take a look at what we got going so far. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Okay, so we got a bunch of equipment and parts and stuff. What's up, Dad? <laughs> so we've relocated the power setup. Everything's still hooked up. We're just running things. Um, I started making paneling to enclose the batteries because um, I know during the winter time, the batteries, when they get to freezing temperatures, they don't perform as well. So I'm trying to enclose them and keep, you know, dirt, moisture, animals, things out of it. So we're wiring up some uh, receptacles. We got some lines going, you know. We're doing this semi-permanent, semi-temporary. You know, we're not drilling holes through all the studs and foundation and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we're just getting us going safer with the load center and breakers and all those kind of things. Um, I have one right here too. This is going to be for our water system. Our water pump runs off 110. So we have a, you know, special outdoor little box right here. Um, I just drove in uh, a ground rod which was kind of difficult, <laughs> all these rocks and stuff. Um, it's a little bit a ways from the cabin, but you know, I was trying to drill and sink the rod closer and I was just hitting rock. Maybe the foundation wasn't sure, but this is where I was able to get it down pretty, pretty low. So we're gonna have to put something here so we don't trip and walk into that ground rod, but it's all right. Additionally, eventually this week, uh, we're going to be moving those solar panels closer to this one over here and adding that little array to the whole system. Um, we're also going to be grounding out everything, and adding ground wires, things like that. So a lot of little things in the mix. Um, so I'll be trying to get as much footage as possible, but... You know, my parents, they're only here for a couple days, so we're just trying to work and get some stuff done. And, um, yeah, let's see, see how the week goes. So my dad's starting to run uh, power to this receptacle. This will just be a multi-use outlet, you know, for whatever we need down here. And I could just run extension cords off of this. Um, you just kind of got it going up and then down into our load center. Um, additionally, we have a second battery we're gonna be adding in here. And I think I'm gonna run these standing up, you know, running vertical. And um, I wanna do it that way um, because it'll give me enough room to, if we want in the future, I can add a third battery. But I'm pretty sure the two will give us enough power um, for a while. So here my dad's kind of showing me how to wire up uh, this load center, how to put in breakers and um, things like that. You know, I'm not an electrician. I've never done, you know, residential electrical work. Um, never done solar work either. So this is all really new to me 
and uh, it was honestly pretty fun it's good learning new skills new trades and especially you know here off grid our own personalized system it's important that I know how to wire things up or troubleshoot things so overall is a good learning experience all right so we're in day two of working on um, the solar stuff we had to go into town and get more parts and supplies so kind of show what we kind of did over here so we got the waterproof box this is for the water pump and all of um, or really just the water pumps the only electrical thing over here um, so we got that going right here wired into the panel uh, we also got a grounding rod kind of hooked up loosely ran I'm gonna eventually come in here zip tie this all nice and clean but for right now we're still just running stuff going over here uh, load centers coming in firing things up dad's working on the inverter right now we got our two batteries I did some spray foam in there to kind of close up some of the gaps in the hole because I don't want that to be a, a mouse house hi babe time for a breakfast break alright breakfast break my favorite break <laughs> so yeah we're going to be getting both batteries in there as soon as that kind of dries up and start connecting the batteries back up and uh, yeah things are looking better so I'll show you more as we get further along okay so here's an update both batteries are in there charging up looking good everything's looking good I still have a lot more you know a little bit of cleaning up zip tying and things like that uh, my dad's knocking out the uh, cover panel right there So now we have dedicated um, outdoor receptacle for the water pump. Again, I'm going to come in here and clean up. This is just a small extension cord to get to the water pump underneath there. Um, this is just the on off switch for this. So if I just need to turn off the pump for whatever reason, maybe do some maintenance or stuff, I don't have to unplug it. I could just turn the switch off, cover that off. So that's cool. Um, we have a new heavy duty cord going all the way to the camper now and this is hardwired into our um, breaker box so it has its own 30 amp breaker um, I just like that idea better and then our grounding so all this stuff is the old stuff this is kind of how we did it before um, where this was coming directly out of the inverter going to this little deal we have going right here um, and under there is just a receptacle and then we ran extension cord so the yellow extension cord went to the water the water pump this orange one went inside the cabin so we had power inside the cabin and then we had another extension cord right here giving power to the trailer. So this is all getting eliminated. Now everything else has its own power source, grounded with the proper breakers. So everything's a lot more safe. Now this is probably still not the code, you know, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but it's better than how we had it. And um, so far so good. So I'm gonna continue cleaning some of this up, all these cords get all this stuff out of here and then I'll show you the the final product okay so it's actually been a couple days uh, since we jumped back on the uh, solar setup here um, so I ended up moving the third array that was you know right over there it's now next to these ones I know I keep bouncing my ideas back and forth but this was what I resulted in. I ended up just, you know, dragging it 
closer to these ones and um, should be fine. So one of the reasons I had to do it like this is because I don't have enough uh, flex conduit and wiring to actually reach way over there where I wanted it. So I just decided to just move this one in and um, this will this will work for me. Although I do need to extend this positive over to this side of the panel um, which I can't do right now because I, I need to like kind of make my own MC4 uh, connection and I ordered the, the parts online and I should be getting them next week um, so that's it I, other than that you know this is where it's gonna live for the next several months maybe all of next year i'm not sure um in the future what i want to do is build uh one solid array with all the panels not this three different ground mount setup just one big one somewhere behind these trees right here um with you know concrete footers all, all of that and just build one large array opposed to these three separate ones um, but this is what we got going for right now um, so far everything's been working really well the second battery is super nice to have um, you know our, our power needs are not real big we don't have a lot of electrical appliances we don't have a bunch of lights uh, you know the cabin's not massive anything like that so the two batteries are working perfect for what we have right now um again once i get the parts i can wire in that last array um i need to do some grounding with all the panels and stuff like that which shouldn't be too difficult either again once i get the parts next week i can just finish that up but I didn't want to wait a whole week to, you know, get this uh, video out, you know, for you guys. And um, when I do get that, you know, I'll share it now that you guys know how everything is is working out. Um, I do want to say thank you to our sponsor of today's video, Signature Solar. They helped us uh, pick out and design our solar setup um, out here which is you know very minimal it's not not a whole lot but they understood that you know we're off grid low power needs and we just kind of want to start with something small that we can keep expanding and growing and um, that's what we have you know we started with just a few panels uh, one inverter and one battery you know, it's just enough to give us enough power to like run a refrigerator and a couple of lights, charge a few devices, and and that's it. Now we got the camper trailer, bigger refrigerator. We're getting a few more little uh, appliances and things we need. Uh, so we, you know, again, got the second battery in. The inverter is working great. Um, we now have uh, the load center. Uh, with all the AC power going out that small one is not being used I just didn't take it down yet um, we also have an outlet for uh, power in so you know come this winter if it's a crazy snowy day we're not getting any power I can just plug in our generator and charge the batteries so we, we have power so that's great um, so yeah, big shout out to Signature Solar. Appreciate you guys. Check them out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. And um, that pretty much wraps it up for this. Um, again, I just got a little bit more to do with the arrays, but I'm waiting on parts, just kind of how it is off grid. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, leave us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. 
and thank you to all our new subscribers and all our OG subscribers that have been following and commenting. We appreciate you guys so much. It really helps the channel. And um, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one.